Since I broke my back, I'm trying not to snowboard as much because it's just a bit risky if I crash, catch a toe edge or something in resort. But out here, I can take my own risks. Snowboard at my own pace. Not have to worry about running into someone or someone hitting me, which can happen normally in the beginner areas. Crossed up. Pretty good. <laughs> Passes the test. I was joining my brother Flynn for a day out in the snowy outcrops. Recently, he'd been getting into mixed climbing. And today, kind of cheap, the black magic. Right? I was yeah. going to get a small taste. So we're going to climb that little bowl, quite that steep pitch in there with the rocks and the snow. Should be nice to test out the crampons and the ice axe, and we'll find somewhere kind of cool to rappel. The feeling when you're out doing something like this? Type 2 fun. <laughs> when you're struggling and but the struggle is part of the fun. That's something that I love and a lot of other like-minded climbers, sweetwaters, backcountry enthusiasts enjoy and the challenge of doing new things. All your gear. And the elements. Yeah, the elements. Definitely the elements. The cold, the wind. And today we're lucky we've got a bit of sun. Beautiful. It's not too hot, but not too cold. So with the right venting, the right layers, we should have a, uh, a nice balance. Let's do it. Here comes the sun now. Let's do it. <laughs> Flynn ran me through the safety equipment. First off the harness and some associated stories. Hanging like right on the edge of the cliff. The way to put on crampons, which I'd never worn, but I can say after this trip, the fastest way to destroy your ski pants. Chucked a helmet on and called the rope before we scoped out the lines that we would be ascending. So look at that chute on the right there, it's kind of the most open. You can see the bumpiness in it, which probably means it's icy and firmer. So I think we try to get into that. There's safety. Pointy. We can find a big sort of rocky horn that we can sling, a couple of, a couple of slings for dual anchors, dual ropes, be able to repel down through that crevice. And so the plan was sorted and we were off. Well, pretty much. I'm just gonna tie something up. The snowy mountain environment is picturesque and serene and offers a new type of movement and trust in the elements that you don't find anywhere else. The surface that you're sticking to literally being moulded with each foothold or axe placement and crumbles away until the next snowfall comes. That was that rain we had the other week and it's a bit brown. You can see the dust that came out from out west. Always in August, we get a big westerly wind. Bit of warm weather, Town comes in as rain, dusty rain. And you can see we've had this on top, which is pretty cool. That was Friday night with wind. Had a couple of ugly layers in there of ice. Pretty consolidated though. Better than before. And then deep down to the old snow, all the different falls we've had this season. That's some nice, nice uh, ice in there. Get up and over. This was the first obstacle on our path, which Flynn made look way too easy. I can tell you now, thank God for editing. That's it. Hold on to the axe. Onto the rock. Yep, point off the point to fine, man. Use the points. <laughs> I'll do. Very good.
punctuating the beauty of the landscape was my heavy breathing. It takes a good level of exertion, like rock climbing, a sport I'm more familiar with. But also like rock climbing, it's about taking things easily. One hand, one foot, one hand, one foot. And repeat, little by little, until you get to the top. Sometimes you look back to see what you've just covered. And breathing heavily, you'll reach the summit. And nothing beats that feeling. And then you set off for your next project. Because who has time to waste? We've got three kind of nice lines up here. First little, little mellow one in the middle, a lot of snow. A little steeper one on the right under some rocks. You can get into some interesting situations, I'm sure. And then we got another little one far left with a little rocky crux and a steep snowy pitch. So we might have a couple of little options here. Should be good. Soft up there. Nice ridge. <laughs> what do you like about repelling? Uh, I think it's just important for my, my snowboarding. Hopefully I can get into some lines that are a little bit more technical to enter and exit. And it will kind of give me a bit of confidence for that. But, should be right. Shit ain't going nowhere. Cool. Um, more of an advanced split boarding options and 
then I can at least go overseas and ride some wild stuff with a little bit of confidence and a little bit of knowledge with the guides and have a bit more fun. What do you do when you get down? You get back up. Obviously.